to start with the end right here. I mean, just everything this year to get to this point, how proud of, are you of this group? Uh, it's hard to say. I'm so proud. Um, obviously, we're hurting. That <laughs> what a game to finish it on. Um, the, this group of guys worked extremely hard from day one. We believed, and we still believe, we can we can be better. We can be more. Um, but I couldn't be more proud of what this group accomplished. There's only one team that gets to win the last game of the year, and uh, fortunately, it's not going to be us. Um, but we accomplished a lot as a group. We got better. We worked extremely hard. I can't thank the guys enough for their hard work and the coaching staff and support staff for all the work they put in. I couldn't be more proud of this group. Uh, we just didn't quite get as far as we wanted to. I don't know if you can pack more dramatic home runs into a, a three-game span that you and the Yankees just did. What is it like to, to live in that in those moments? Uh, uh, every emotion, um, fun, agonizing. Everywhere in between, you you feel like you played a very good series and walk out of here, you know, not winning it. And we could any one of those games could have gone either way, uh, just didn't go our way. And um, it was an exciting series to watch. I mean, great games throughout. And uh, you know, credit to them, they're a phenomenal team, and they've earned their way there. His final pitch, notwithstanding, was that more of a tanner than you expected? And, and Really know, just to see Tanner stepped up and was a guy today. He was a number one today. Um, short rest and gave us five and two thirds of excellent, excellent pitching. One mistake and it got hit. And I'm so proud of Tanner for stepping up. I'm so proud of him. He wanted to take the ball, short rest, and did his job and then some today. And I couldn't be more proud of him. Walking stand in that situation or going to No, Tanner was dialed. Tanner had struck him out twice. He had him on the ropes. One mistake. That right there, I trust Tanner on him. He, the, the way he was throwing the ball, I, I would not. You give me a hundred more times, I'm not putting him on right there. What's the biggest learning experience that you've learned from your first year? That's a long season. And every decision you make, learn as much as you can from it. Good, bad, indifferent. With Tanner, just from where this year started to where he is now, is what, what maybe the biggest thing of growth that you saw from him this year? Just the, the consistency at which he com competed. Um, you know, Tanner early in the year, like we talked about, had some struggles for the first time probably in his life. And did it at the big league level, coming off of you know second place rookie of the year year, and he took it in stride and kept getting better as the year went on. And every time Tanner took the ball, we felt good about it. And he said to me before the season even started, he wants to be number one, and he is. Foster, Steve, what did you say to the players after the game? How proud I am! Remember this feeling. Remember this feeling you have right now, because there's more left on the table for this group. We know we can accomplish more, but be proud of what we accomplished overall and use this to fuel your off season. You live in a world where uh, the, the line between winning and losing is so thin. How hard is it to not overanalyze certain decisions when you know that one little thing could be just enough or just not enough? I, the way I do it is I ask myself what's true. You can write a narrative in your head and spin yourself down a negative path and beat yourself up and second guess and go back. But what's true is you made what you thought was the best decision in the moment. And then you leave it behind. And I have a mentor of mine that says, learn the lesson, leave the event. You leave the event behind and you learn everything you can from it. And there's no going back. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes good decisions, bad decisions, or they just didn't work. So for me, it's learn the lesson, leave the event. Rokio just tried to do a little too much there. I, I don't know. I, I didn't see it. It just looked like the just tipped off the top of his glove. Joe? Yes. Uh, Brendan? Um, first year in Cleveland, um, can, you, can you elaborate on how you have felt embraced or loved by the city? Our fans were outstanding this year. I mean, we, we packed this place all year. 
they showed up. They supported us. Everywhere you go around town, there's Guardians hats, shirts, sweatshirts, flags on houses. This city loves their sports teams. Uh, that was really cool for me to learn over the course of this first year is just how dedicated, um, loyal, um, and I'm thankful. They embraced a first-time manager taking over for a, for a legend, and I couldn't be more thankful. In the last row here. Uh, you talked before the game about Fosse and he'll be back out there tonight. What do you think of how he responded? And was there any thought of him going back after the 10th? Uh, he responded the way I thought he would. You know, this is the best closer on the planet. I'll, st I'll stand by that. And the year he had, who he is, you're, you're not letting anyone else take the ninth inning. Um, you want to take him back out there, but he had thrown 60 pitches over the last three days. And, you know, had we won tonight, we had two more games to go. And you, you can't overextend these guys. You can't have them throw 75, 80 pitches in three days. That's not right. Um, Hunter's been phenomenal all year. I'll give any of those guys in the bullpen the ball anytime, any place, anywhere. The some of the best hitters in the world got us in this series, and that's what's true. Thoughts on Hunter's transformation from going from a starter last year, transforming into the reliever that he had for your 2024 season. All the credit goes to him. He trained all winter as a as a starter. He trained all winter to be in the rotation and. We have a couple injuries, and he says, I'll go to the bullpen. And he turns himself into probably one of the top setup men in baseball this year. Um, all of our bullpen guys deserve a ton of credit for the, for the season we had and where we are. And I can't wait to see him again next year. I know we've asked you so many times this year about this bullpen, but to think of where you started this year, of not really knowing who was going to be where or who was even going to fill out the whole bullpen on opening day, to what you watch all season long, now that you can start to reflect a little bit more, just what, what, how, how did it happen and how impressive was it? I don't know how it happened, um, other than these guys are special, and Carl Willis, Joe Torres, and Brad Goldberg are superstars. Um, they helped these guys learn how to be relievers, and they helped them, you know, get their stuff under control and, and be consistent every single night. And what they did individually to step up and take the ball for this team, what seemed like every single day, all of them through. And they carried us here. If it wasn't for that group of guys in the bullpen, we wouldn't have got this far in the season. And um, they deserve a ton of credit for that.